as uh, champions against FGM and child marriage, we want to say that an Africa fit for children is an Africa without FGM and without child marriage. We have um, made some steps towards ending child marriage, but we are not yet there as a country. Uh, we, we want to make a call to the government of Kenya to actualize the commitment that the president made on ending uh, child marriage and uh, FGM. Uh, some of the ways that uh, this can be done is through uh, budgeting for interventions that, uh, that are geared towards ending child marriage and FGM. Uh, the, this COVID situation has worsened the situation of child marriage and FGM. The fact that children were at home for a prolonged period of time exposed them to, to these vices. Uh, these children, because of uh, lack of economic capacity for, for, for parents and caregivers, they, many of them have opted to marry their children off. There are also uh, retrogressive cultural practices in our country where once a child gets pregnant, they have to be married off and that ends their education, that ends their dreams for their future. And so this must stop. Uh, children deserve all their rights. Every right as stipulated in the United Nations Convention on the Right of the Child, every child uh, in Kenya and all over the world deserves all those rights. And so we are here calling out uh, that an Africa fit for children is an Africa where every child has the opportunity and has the right environment to actualize their full potential. Kwa umuhimu tumeweza kuzungumza na kuangazia haki za watoto na watoto tukisema watoto ni watoto wa kisichana na wavulana pia na tumeweza kuzungumzia mambo ya ukeketaji ndoa za mapema watoto kudhulumiwa na kuweza kutoka shule na kutoweza kuendelea na masomo kwa hivyo tumeweza kuzungumza na kuona vipi kama jamii katika kaunti zetu ni nini tunaweza kufanya kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wasichana wasiweze ku, uh, kutoka shule kuhakikisha kwamba wanabaki uh, katika uh, mashule kama ni shule za uh, uh, msingi ama shule za upili ama katika chuo kikuu waweze kuhakikisha kwamba wana um, timiza malengo yao katika maisha na hiyo tunaweza tu kuhakikisha kwamba wanaweza uh, kuhakikisha wapate ndoto zao kwa kubaki uh, katika uh, taasisi zile za masomo uh, na kwa zaidi uh, tunaungana mikono na hata tunatoa maombi kwa serikali tuone ni vipi wanaweza kuchipi kuona kwamba zile gaps ambazo ziko pengine wale watoto ambao wanakuwa na vulnerabilities katika community pengine wanaozwa sababu ya pengine mambo ya hali ya umasikini pengine wazazi wao wanawatoa mapema kwenda ku, uh, kuozwa ni vipi pengine zile uh, zile uh, huduma ambazo ziko kwa serikali za scholarship za mambo ya uh, services ambazo watoto ambao hawajiwezi wanaweza pewa ili we, waweze kuendelea na elimu yao kusema kwa ukweli mtoto ambaye anatoka katika jamii ya wafugaji uh, mara nyingi unapata kwamba anakumbwa na changamoto nyingi sababu hata ile tamaduni haimpi nafasi ya kuweza kuendelea na elimu yake sababu kuna uh, pengine akipatikana na ile pengine uh, uh, changamoto ya pengine apate mimba ya mapema uh, ile jamii yetu ya wafugaji hawaamini kwamba mtoto huyo msichana anaweza wapewa fursa ya pili pengine kuendelea na elimu bali hiyo ndio itakuwa fursa yao uh, muhimu ya kuweza kumuoza na ndoto yake inakatika hapo kwa hivyo uh, ninge, na hayo unapata kwamba katika pengine sehemu zingine katika nchi yetu hayo hayatendeki mara nyingi mtoto akiwa amepatikana pengine na changamoto anaonekana amekuwa na uh, teenage pregnancy ama pengine amepitia mambo ya FGM wanapata kuna kuna kuwa na opportunities nyingi ambazo ziko available kwa wale watoto wasichana ambao wanatoka sehemu zingine za Kenya uh, parentry culture is good and culture is uh, it should be celebrated and it's also right of the child to participate in every cultural uh, uh, activities but however when you go to these communities they also have uh, they are coming back to FGM and this is especially because of the new uh, outfit that is coming up called Kiyama Kiyama. This grouping to do with Agikuyu, Kikuyu, uh, whatever tradition, seem to be bringing back these uh, uh, retrogressive uh, cultural practice. 
Now when it comes to Laikipia, we know that we are hurting. We are 10 years back. The president talked about 2022, but save, he never knew that there was going to be anything to do with COVID-19. So it was, I would say it was not rather ambitious, but we have been taken back by the COVID-19. During the period of COVID-19, the closure of schools and not recognizing the children's sector as essential services has led the many children to be circumcised forcibly. And almost 100%. Others are not back to school because they have already been married off. And others are even uh, operating from home to school, from their, home, their own husband's home. This is not what we had dreamed as the African countries. It is coming back, and those who had abandoned the culture, even those circumcisers are back. And it's because of the COVID-19 measures that kept people at bay. They kept people, you know, uh, close, closely together. We're also having a category of children that we have never thought about. Due to this COVID-19, we are experiencing uh, incest level being very high. And in communities like Saburu and Maasai, a child born of uh, such relationship is, is disregarded. Mtukufu uh, Rais wa Kenya, amechukua jambo la kukeketaji wa sichana kuwa jambo muhimu. Na ni kweli, ikiwa sote, tutajizatiti, tufanye kazi pamoja, tunaweza kumaliza janga hili la ukeketaji la wasichana hapa nchini Kenya. Atua kubwa imepigwa, sisi sote, kama wananchi wa Kenya, kama mashirika na taasisi tofauti, lazima tusimame kidete na rais wa inchi, ambaye ametoa muongozo, ili tuweze kufikia lengo hili kufikia mwaka 2022 tumebakia na miezi chache lakini bado tuko na wakati wa kuweza kubadilisha na jambo la muhimu ni sisi kama watu binafsi tuseme inawezekana haki yaweza kujumuishwa na kucheza na wengine haki ya kuwa na birth certificate yani eh, uh, karatasi ya kutambulisha uzazi wao na hizo ni haki muhimu sana. Na tunashukuru kwamba shirika la Child Fund uh, Kenya na wadau wetu wengine na serikali ya Kenya hususan kitengo cha watoto katika wizara ya ya kazi na jamii tumeweza kupiga hatua kubwa sana katika kuhakikisha kwamba haki za watoto zimetimizwa. Safari hii ni safari ndefu. Tumepiga hatua wakubwa lakini hatujafikia. Bado tunapata dhuluma za watoto katika nchi yetu. COVID imeleta matatizo zaidi. Kama mnavyojua watoto wa kike wanazidi kudhulumiwa, wanapata mimba za mapema na haya ni mambo ambayo lazima tuyafanyie kazi. Sisi kama mashirika yanahusika na maendeleo ya watoto tushirikiana na wadau wengine na hususan serikali